a train passes two bicycles moving in the same direction at a speed of 10 km per hour and 15 km per hour in 10 seconds and 11 seconds respectively. The speed of the train is. So we have to find out the speed of the train here. Here two cyclists traveling in the same direction with a speed of 10 km per hour and 15 km per hour. And a train is overtaking both the cyclists. This train overtake the first cyclist in 10 seconds and second cyclist in 11 seconds. So we need to find out the speed of the train. I will take the speed of the train as S here. Here you can see distance covered while overtaking the first cyclist and distance covered while overtaking the second cyclist. Both are same. So here distance is same. So I will equalize this in first case and second case. Here distance is equal to relative speed into time. Distance is equal to speed into time. Here it is relative sp speed because bo two bodies here. So in the first case, speed of the train minus speed of the first cyclist is equal to 10 km per hour. Both are moving in same direction. So S minus 10 into time taken to overtake the first cyclist 10 seconds. If this is in second, I will convert it in hour. So 60 into 60. This is the Distance covered while overtaking the first person. First, and then distance covered while overtaking the second person is S minus 15 into time taken to overtake is 11 seconds. This is also, I will convert it in hour. Cancel, cancel. Here 11 S minus 10 S is equal to 1 S. So S is equal to, this is 11 S, this is 10 into S, 10 S. So here this minus 15 into 11 will come here, that is. 15 into 11 minus 10 into 10, 100. 15 into 11 is equal to 165. 165 minus 100 is equal to 65. So, 65 kilometer per hour is your answer. Option A is your answer.